Hey everyone and welcome. In this video we look at a new website our totally incompetent London Mayor has set up. Oh my god this man is a buffoon. Before we mock this muppet, please like, comment and subscribe if you're new and please share it out. And roll the intro. <laughs> and I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics and I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. Thank you Anne, and I agree. <laughs> now the article is titled Oh dear, Sadiq Khan mocks after launching wet cycling website with very unfortunate address. Sadiq Khan has been brutally mocked after eagle-eyed Britons noticed an embarrassing error regarding a website launched by the London Mayor to encourage more people to cycle in the capital. Now, before we get into this, you have to remember this mayor has the biggest and best paid PR department in the history of the mayoralty. And this article is a level of professionalism his handpicking has created. <laughs> the new website is... <laughs> now, what does that say to you, everyone? Does that not say Cycles Kills Online? Because <laughs> it does to me. It's supposed to be Cycle Skills Online, obviously, but still, wow. How they missed that, you'll, I will never know, to be honest. It's an address that contains an unfortunate phrase when taken out of context. When taken out of context? It's an address. Where's the context in an address? Wow. Announcing the news, Amy Lame, who is Mr. Khan and Khan's and London's first night czar, tweeted, this is awesome. Mayor of London has launched a first online cycling training course for Londoners. Are we surprised that she didn't notice it, eh? No, I didn't think so. Get the confidence to start cycling here. <laughs> Cycleskillsonline.gov.uk The tweet from <laughs> Miss Lane was quickly deleted after several Twitter, no Twitter noticed. After several Twitterers noticed a huge error, pointing out that the website contains the words Cycles Kills online <laughs> one person wrote i played cycles kills online on the xbox before it was big <laughs> great comment a clearly humiliated ms lame replied i've dropped tfl a line <laughs> see he's just incapable isn't he he can't do anything right this guy how he, he, he even thinks he's, he should be able to get another term i'll never know one person said can has the best staff and most highly paid PR department in the history of the mayoralty. How did they manage to fuck that up? Another said, how did someone not notice that? <laughs> TFL confirmed to Express, the URL of the website is being changed. <laughs> At whose expense? Hold on a minute. At whose expense, Khan? Is that our expense for your cock up again? Yeah, thought so. Taxpayers, isn't it? The new website which links to a page belonging to Transport for London is aimed at providing advice to those wishing to cycle around London for the first time. And here's the tweet that Sadiq Khan put out. We're taking action to make cycling easier and safer across our city. Great to launch TfL's new free online training resource for Londoners. Whether cycling for the first time or getting back on your bike, there's something, something for everyone. Cycle skills online. <laughs> oh, have you ever seen someone look more uncomfortable on a push bike ever in your entire life look at that picture interested cyclists are required to complete four online modules you ready? get ready to ride Ooh, that means put your spandex on <laughs> which provides tips on getting the person and bicycle prepared for the road that star jumps and uh, hopscotches and stuff then isn't it <laughs> all i can think of is if we need a website to tell people put your feet on the pedals and push and look out for other traffic we're in danger <laughs> yeah, <I know>. yeah. <laughs> and first time on the road educating people on how to start cycling on the road safely and responsibly you know what it we've already got a booklet like that mate uh, and a website it's called the highway code it's the lord of the road you absolute carrot the other two modules are on the road again, providing advice on how to improve your cycling skills. Uh, it's easy, you just don't ride like a cock. It's, that's, how, that's all you have to do, just ride your bike like it's a car and don't drive across red lights and ride on the road like you own the place. That'd help. Providing advice on how to improve your cycling skills to give you confidence to get back out on the, ro on the road again. I'm on the road again. And how to cycle in a group with children and adults. Wow. Elites now think that everyone in the country has the intelligence of a brick, don't they, eh? Like we don't already know by the time you make adulthood and you go into work on a bike, how to ride a bloody bike. 
Oh my God. Would you like to run alongside them and hold the hand for them as well? Those completing the models will be rewarded with a 24 hour access code for Santander. Santander. Cyclings enable them to make as many th as 30 minute journeys throughout London as you wish. 30 minute journeys? Is that all you get them, bit, them higher bikes for? 30 minutes? I'm not surprised they all look knackered. Oh, <laughs> trying to get across the city in 30 minutes. Santander Cycles, sponsored by the Building Society, costs £2 to hire for unlimited journeys up to 30 minutes within a 20 four hour period and how ugly are those bikes disgusting aren't they i wouldn't want to pay two pounds to sit on that i'd in fact i'd rather pay two pounds just to make sure they're no longer on the street <laughs> <They're ugly. laughs> earlier this year london mayor mr khan announced plans aimed at significantly increasing space for bicycles and pedestrians in the capital i'll rephrase that they're gonna get rid of all the places you can drive the proposals include more cycle lanes see wider pavements exactly what i meant and reducing speed limits in some towns to reduce the towns some towns uh it's none of your business london you do Pratt. to reduce the pressure on the london underground and bus services so i presume he wants to the power to be able to do things around london as well then the measures followed efforts in other major european cities to get populations moving again this came as countries exited lurgy lockdowns while maintaining social distancing rules and taking pressure off the under pressure public transport system system hold on a minute there is no pressure on the transport system at the minute hardly anyone's going on it because they've been terrified off them am i wrong no, I didn't think so. Mr. Khan said in a statement, the capacity our public, of our public transport will be dramatically reduced post Lurge as a result of the huge challenges we face around social distancing. Creating temporary cycle lanes and closing roads to through traffic, we will enable millions more people to change the way they get around our city. What's my opinion? Well, the last paragraph says it all, really, doesn't it? Creating temporary cycle lanes and closing roads to through fare will enable millions more people to change the way they get around our city. Let me rephrase that for you, Sadiq. We're stopping cars driving around London. Sod the millions of workers that have legitimate reasons for using a car, like, I don't know, fear of being stabbed in your part and parcel city, disabled people, female workers that have to come home in the middle of the night. You want them riding bikes, do you? He wants to stop cars to force you onto bikes, whether you want to or not. What right does he have for this? None, that's what. On top of that as well, people that work in London, not many of them actually live in London, do they? They commute in, so he wants them to ride in 30, 40, 50 miles, does he? See, this idiot doesn't engage his brain before he opens his mouth. He just opens his mouth and then somebody else uses their brain to tell him it's a load of crap as usual. <laughs> now, everything this ankle biting swamp fraggle should do for his job, he avoids, doesn't he? And everything he isn't involved in, he is. <laughs> I mean, the weasel just the other day was crying, Boris hasn't spoken to him in a month. Oh, did him, sad sack, did your fifus get hurt? <laughs> to be honest, Sadiq, I'm not surprised he doesn't want to speak to you. He did a good job as mayor. You do a good job of looking weak. <laughs> but anyway, I'd like to know your opinion on this, everyone. Stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one.